Hi, Sandra. Hi, Jason. How are you? I'm good. Good. It's nice to see you in our living room. We're not, are we live? We're live. We yeah. are live. Yeah. We're actually live. Yes, it's we're a good live. thing I didn't say I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess yep. I just did. So, busted. <laughs> so, we can just chit, chit chat a little bit because we're going to do a microphone check. And our All right. Te we were just company. checking it out. Yeah. So, what'd you do today? I decorated a Christmas tree. What did you do today? I got the ornaments on our website for you to be able to decorate he the got Christmas tree. Hundreds of, hundreds of ornaments, ornaments on our website, which is bluepalm.com. So we are just waiting for people to log on. We are live. If you see that little red live button somewhere above me, <laughs> over there. there it's, it is. it's over there. Yep. It's right right there. here? Yep. Right there. Am I pointing? Yes. Hey, okay. that little live red button. And if there is no live red button, it means you are not live. But that's okay because we are. Uh, what we're going to feature tonight is featured on our website, so bluepalm.com. Um, we're going to reveal what we're doing tonight. Um, let me tell you a little bit first about who we are and why we're here. And don't forget to like us, share our videos. Um, okay, so we got some people on, and I'm just checking to see wow. who it is. We got Becky, Denise, Joni, and Rhonda on already. Hey, welcome back. Yeah. I know some of you have been joining us for several of our live events, so we're excited to have you back. I know that a lot of people are really excited about tonight's event. This is our biggest annual party that we do. Um, obviously, it's annual. I was going to say we do every year, but that kind of... <laughs> it's our annual, every year annual. It's our annual, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> our annual party. Yep. So um, anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about who we are. Uh, if you've never been to Blue Pomegranate before, um, I... I ha we opened Blue Pomegranate in 2001, um, originally here in Omaha, Nebraska, in an er kind of a more midtown uh, area called um, Benson. And then in 2014, we moved out to a suburban area, which was uh, a higher end shopping complex called Village Point. So I know a lot of you patrons have visited us way back in the day in Benson, all the way up to finding us at Village Point. And um, so a lot of you may not even know that um, in 2019, we decided to close in January of 2019 so that we could really do uh, fantastic pop-up events. So last holiday season, we did a holiday pop-up, um, which was really, really fun. But this year we have shifted and we're doing this differently. And this is how we are doing our 12th annual ornament party. Woo! So this is really different for us. But usually I spend the last four or five days decorating trees all around the gallery. And I've actually, we've spent the last four or five days getting um, all of the ornaments loaded on our website. So that's different for us this year. Um, we've always had a, a nice collection of ornaments on our website, but this year we have everything on our website. And the crazy thing is, is we still have artists bringing us work. So we're going to continue to be posting ornaments as those come in. So even the things that you find online right now, we will continue to be uh, posting new pieces. So if there's something that you miss out on tonight, don't worry about it because we will be having more coming in. You can always message us or email us and say, hey, I missed out. I really wanted this piece. We'll do what we can to try and get you one that's similar. But just to kind of give you a little forewarning, a lot of these are one of a kind. A so of, some of our, lot of them are. Yeah, yeah, a lot well, of them. So it's a lot of entry into our website. So that is why we usually don't do that. So there's hundreds and hundreds of ornaments available. And, and the ornaments, when we say we'll have multiple ornaments of things, that might mean two, mm -hmm. maybe three. Yeah. So... I hate, it's like, I always joke, I sound like a used car salesman, but if you like it, you better grab it because we don't see them from the artists and it takes months to get work from a lot of the artists. Right, so, right. Uh, Sondra is a little bit of exception that, that if we're sold out, a lot of times we replenish rather quickly. Message it depends. <laughs> depends, depends. It depends. Yeah. If it's a really hot seller, we may not be able to um, get it back to you. But I'm just going to give a shout out to some more of our viewers that have logged on. We've got Terry, Jerry. Kimberly, Wade, Terry, uh, Nava. Welcome, Nava. And we've got Mary on and Deb. So welcome, all of you people. If I didn't say your name, it's because I can't read it from that distance. <laughs> but I will be getting new glasses, so you got to keep watching our live videos. 
because eventually I'm going to be sporting Ooh. some really cool ones. I mean, I still love these. Are you doing those like really, really big 80s ones that press no, in your cheeks? Well, they are and... bigger. Okay. They're bigger. They're pretty modern. They're totally me. My friend Sarah helped me pick them out. I'm really excited. So anyway, yeah. and then I'll be able to read the board and read your name better. So, so welcome, welcome. So let me just explain how this is going to happen tonight. Um, my fantastic revolving tree. I feel like I'm on a game show right here with this thing spinning around. <laughs> hey, it's um, our Johanna Vanahans. <laughs> this is going to, um, these are actually just ornaments represented by all of our artists. These are the ones that we're not going to feature tonight. So if there are ones that you happen to see on the tree, we will pan in later and then you can ask questions about the ones that are on the tree. But there's just no way we can go through all of these ornaments tonight. So what we did is we took a selection of every single artist that makes, our, makes ornaments for us. We took a selection of two to five of, of each based on either whether it's new or it's a bestseller or it happens to be my favorite. So, so we did um, pull together a collection and I have a lovely assistant off camera, Troy. <laughs> And he, he's over there snickering. Um, so he is going to be handing me those ornaments and we will bring it up close and you can see it on camera really well. And then what's really cool is Jason's sitting here with his laptop. He is going to post a link right underneath that you can click on and immediately buy that ornament. So it'll take you directly to that ornament on our website and you can buy it right away. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. So seriously, click it, buy it, and it might be the only one. So it's it's seriously, they're all fantastic. Well, and, and two, being the techie guy, so you could, you could do this really cool. You could have, like me, laptop to be able to click and buy and all that, but still have your phone to see what's coming up just as you're finishing out things, you know, you can make it work, keep on adding to your cart. Uh, and uh, like I said, well, this is the first time trying it live. So if we have a hiccup, we may, but we've tested it. We think it's good. Okay, I'm gonna, so. I'm gonna test Jason's tech knowledge because I, this is like a legit question. So huh? if somebody puts it in their shopping cart and they don't check out, will that still save that ornament for them? So like if they're still watching the rest of the ornament party and then they're gonna check out, will that ornament go away if somebody else decides to click it and buy? Do you know the answer to that? I'm 90% sure you have to complete the purchase for okay. it to pull it out. Okay. So it's okay if you buy multiple and you check out and you check out again, we can take care of that. Remember for the oh, shipping. I was just um, say yes. That, yeah. Do you so, want to fill that? Sure. So so if there's like an ornament, you're like, oh, I gotta have this, and it's you know a $35 ornament, it's gonna well, if you put local pickup, it's not gonna charge you any shipping. But if you do say shipping, put a shipping address in. It will uh, charge you $7.95, which is our basic shipping for under $75 orders. But if you have multiple, like one or two ornament orders, I'll go back through, refund your shipping on that, um, just to make it easy for everyone. So we will, uh, yeah. And remember, we will gift wrap every single ornament that you purchase. But if you are um, having it shipped to you, it's, uh, it's the way we gift wrap, we use our gift bags, which uh, they're like this. So our ornaments will come to you like this. If we can't get it into, um, these, this just doesn't ship well, it's not gonna protect your ornament. So then your ornaments will come to you a little differently when they're shipped. We wanna make sure that they come in one piece. So we will put colorful tissue in there and try and make it as fun as we can. We, do, we still do beautiful packaging and some little whimsy touches and everything will have a bio in it if possible. So we're gonna put that back. Um, that's a very good question. If you want to give us a call, not now, um, but not <laughs> because we'll, we'll hear it in the background. Yeah, so our, tonight, 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 if is... you call, our phone will be ringing in yeah. the background, so we won't be answering that. We don't have anybody on standby to answer our phone so calls. So yes, yes, tonight the only way would be just through the website during the live video. Um, after that point, um, then yeah, we would do accept phone calls through normal daytime hours and such. But otherwise, you can find it on the website. Not in uh, inside of the Facebook Live video. You can be outside of it too. Um, yes. But yes, generally yes, it's uh, Facebook's or through the Facebook Live video. Um, the website's the only way right now. Um, or you can click click into the website now and buy it before the party because <laughs> it's true. all loaded. So if you want to get breezing through there, it's just that this is going to really showcase each piece really well. Okay. So just really quick before we start, if you joined us on Tuesday. Um, we had a little bit of a giveaway thing and we had one big fantastic uh, gift 
that um, it's this pendulum clock that's a starburst that I made and uh, Jennifer does the dots and remember Troy does the brushing. So it's, it's a combination of a, the metal pedal team that makes this that you gotta see our tour. If you didn't watch on Tuesday, you should go back because it's actually a tour through our studio of how these pieces are made. However, um, if you had shared that video onto your page, um, we put your name in a hat that Jason has over there. And we're about to do a drawing to see who won this piece. And thank you so much for sharing that video. Let me just tell you. Um, quickly. You know, quickly. <laughs> we are small business and we, you know, it really does help our web presence and our Facebook presence. If you share, you comment, you like, that actually helps um, more and more people see our Facebook page, which helps us sell more artwork to support artists. So we're gonna get going here so you can see some ornaments, but let's go ahead and draw. Okay. Or do you wanna draw? Okay. Okay. The winner is Julie Beaumont. Yay, Julie. Okay, so Julie, if you, you are Julie. watching, you need to message us with how you would like to get this. If you can pick it up here locally or if you need us to ship that to you. So Julie Beaumont, congratulations, you won the clock. Woo. I'm gonna give this back to my lovely assistant. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm just gonna put Julie's name down over there. Right. Um, I wanna start first with uh, the top of our tree. So um, our first item is these, uh, what do we call these, Jason? I don't know, and we don't. We never did figure out what we called them, so we don't have them on the website. <laughs> <laughs> um, we so these are supposed them. to be on our website. Yep. Um, all right, we got our first. <laughs> anyway, so we've got them up on uh, the top of the tree, just kind of a fun, whimsical way to to finish off a tree. These are some little garden poke things that we um, that I do. So we could put those in the tops of the tree or out throughout the sides. So. It's another way to look at the garden art. Um, we will post these on the site. If you're really interested in them, just message us uh, through our message or privately message us and we'll, we'll let you we'll know when we have them it. up. Yeah. yeah, we'll have a link. So it was anyway, a sorry about that. <laughs> burning the midnight oil, we didn't get that one up. So. so the other thing I did with the top of our tree tonight, I didn't want to adorn the tree too much to take away from the ornament. So I did just kind of do the top. Um, these are really fun. These are done by Johanna Shin, which if you have ever been to Blue Pomegranate, you might remember Johanna. She was one that worked with us at the gallery and she did some graphic work for us as well. Super creative gal. She um, sat in front of the TV and cut all these circles and then sewn them, sews them together. She's got one of those um, cool Cricut machines. So these are super fun. I just wrapped that around the top of the tree. We have several colorways of this. And um, so we, we think these are really fun. How much are these, Jace? $10. $10. So yep. here's what I think is really cool. Joe didn't tell me this. This is what I came up with. I think this is really fun. There you go. <laughs> I mean, seriously, why wouldn't you? So I don't know what that's doing to my microphone. I'm just going to make sure that that's exposed here. Maybe. It'll pick, it'll pick your voice up. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, that's true. My voice, <laughs> Jason says it'll pick. Oh, yeah, you have a camera. Have you a have a microphone on I have a microphone. So that's our new added to. tech for the day. Jason now has his own microphone. Yay. So we're getting better. We're getting better. Johanna, okay. Johanna just gave us a big smiley face with hard eyes. Yay, Joe. Okay, so our next item is... These cute little, this little guy, little polar bear, he's made out of clay. And the cutest thing about it is it's a two part piece and he has Step a, back, please. he has a little, oh, I gotta get there a hold it right. He's got a little baby you hang on the tree with him, with her, sorry, it's mama. So these are made out of clay, cut out. And then I, I was gonna look up the process. I thought these were glazed, but they might be some kind of a, like an enamel finish, um, I should know better, right? I should be a little bit more studied up on this. So these are done, how much are these, Jason? Uh, who are they done by? They are done by Molly, San Molly Saunders, and they're $24. $24 for the, the set. Yep. And she has some really pretty boxes that they come in. I don't have the box um, right now, but you can that way, um, they'll, they'll come together as a set. So they're really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hang these on the tree. And I'm going to get a little faster so we get through all of these. And the paddle to Troy. Oh, I got to yeah. give that to Troy. Got to learn. Got to learn. <laughs> learn, learn, learn the We're paddle. getting there. All right. Actually, you were, you were in a perfect location with the light. 
in the camera. I apologize. Oh. It actually looked really good. Okay. Moving along. Some of my stuff. You look really good tonight, by the way. Oh, thank you. You're right. Okay. Here's another one by Molly Saunders, and that is um, a moose. We all love the moose, right? So that one, we already talked about it. We're going to go ahead and hang that one on the tree. You get to see my back. <laughs> Paddle. All right, Mr. Moose. There you are. Paddle. Sorry, Troy. <laughs> Paddle first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing my job right. I can talk all day, <laughs> but I don't know about all this stuff they're adding. So um, these are these are done by who, Jason? Uh, it's the home. Oh, the, uh, okay. The Nebraska, oh. It's a wood in Nebraska. So it's actually by Marcus Williams. Yes, I thought I'd have to amp it, whisper to you. <laughs> they're how much? Twelve twelve dollars. Yeah, these are really cool laser cut wood. They're his original designs, and it has this cute little heart cut out. All right. I'm going to wait to hang that on the tree just so I can keep moving here. And actually, I think there's one already on the tree, just so you know. But look at this. This is really cool. So um, he does these little lanterns, and um, I put a little battery-operated tea light or uh, votive in there, and that could actually go on the tree like that. Please don't put a real candle in there and put it on your tree. <laughs> but these are super cool, and when you turn the lights off, can you imagine them all over the tree? But there's another added surprise to this. Like, if you have somebody that's creative in your life or somebody that likes to do puzzles, um, there is actually... It comes as a DIY kit. So it's all the little parts in the wood that you pop out and then you put it together. So that that will keep you entertained for, I don't know, a couple hours maybe? Nah, probably 20 minutes. Depends on how depends on how good you are at doing puzzles. So I'm gonna set that one back Troy, there. Troy, could you show me which one you have? Okay. I'm gonna put this one on the tree just because it's so cute. I forget I have a microphone on. I don't need to yell to the camera. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now we're into some of our new blown glass ornaments. Um, these are really beautiful. So these are done by a group of artists in a studio in um, Seattle. That's where Troy's from. Woo woo! Yay, Troy! Okay, so um, these are really beautiful. Uh, and this one's a little heart shape. And then there's another kind. If there's a, they, I have three different styles. I'm going to go ahead and hold this one up in front of Ooh, it. You guys are cruising here. Hold on. I am almost there. You have the, the, Maybe little, I should the little red Slow swirl. down a little bit for Jason's yes. sake. So I can get the uh, links up. So This one's really pretty. It has an irid um, finish on it, so it's really reflective, kind of rainbow looking. And all these are about $29. And I think just to speed things up a little bit, I'm going to hand them back to Troy. <sighs> speed it up? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jason says slow down. Goodness, I have Here's never copied and pasted We're going to hang so that one on there. Here, do you want me to hang them? <laughs> All right, so here's a blue one that is really, really pretty. It also has that irid finish on it, but it has like a, a texture on it that makes it bumpy. And So one cool fact about Glass Eye, mm -hmm. since they're up in that uh, Seattle area, they're actually not too far from Mount St. Helens. And a lot of their glass that has that irid rainbow look is actually has ash from the, was it 1980, I want to say? The, um, the the the, the uh, Washington Blaze. We should have yes. Troy, Troy yeah. telling. Yeah, so from the, from the 1980... Um, erupt Mount St. Helens, they have ash and they will mix it in their blown glass. So we talked about Johanna who made the felt ne uh, necklace scarf thing that I have on or whatever. It's also a decoration. Um, she's also been making these cute little ornaments that are hand painted uh, little slices of wood. So they're kind of kind of fun. Well, so Johanna, I, if you're, I know you're watching Johanna. I call them wood words. Wood words. Wood words. <laughs> so... Those are really fun. All right, these next ones are also done by Johanna Shin. She does these felted little uh, ugly sweaters, but I, I hesitate to say ugly sweaters because they're really, really cute. They have these tiny little hangers that she makes um, for them to go on, and these are uh, felted. So um, correct me if I'm wrong, Johanna, but they um, she takes this little tiny bits of lo what looks like stuffing and then uh, needle felts it. And so you poke it and poke it and poke it until it um, becomes one with the background fabric. So that's kind of cool. So I would give those to Courtney. 
And of course, there's more styles and varieties posted on our, um, on our website. These are done by Heidi Rhea. She um, is a local artist and she uh, does fused glass. And so this is one of our first fused glass ornaments for tonight. And this one's really cute. She, Heidi's pieces, we have several artists that do fused glass, but one thing that's kind of an indication that it's Heidi is she does really intricate, cool wire work. So she did this really fun little copper star that's part of the hanger. So it's fun because it gets a little bit of motion going and the star stays. So um, we'll talk a little bit about how fused glass is done in a little bit. And here is another one that I had to pull out because I know those Blue Jay fans, Creighton Blue Jay fans, if you're from the Omaha area, um, the Creighton Blue Jays, it's obviously their mascot. So um, we sell Heidi's Blue Jays really well. We, had a, we also have a garden poke version of that, but these are really cool on a Christmas tree or just hanging in a window. So of course, having it be Christmas, we had to have a little red bird. So this is her version of a cardinal. You can see the little orange beak. And uh, we love cardinals around here. They come to my feeders a lot. So to me, it's just totally an icon of winter and they remind me of my grandmother. So um, that's Heidi's little cardinal uh, fuse glass piece. So One of my that favorites. one's fun. I love those. They are so sweet. One more from Heidi. And this one I just had to put, throw in there because it is hilarious to me. She calls this one Santa's stuck. Help, help. <laughs> He's hilarious. Like, um, I would imagine that if Santa actually tried to go down a chimney, this is definitely what would happen. I just don't <laughs> think it would be a good idea. So, anyway, that is her Santa stuck ornament. And also we'll mention, too, I don't know if Sandra mentioned or not, if there is something that you see on the tree behind us or a glimpse of something or you want to see in more detail, go ahead and comment on the video. And then we have Jen who is collecting those comments. And at the end here, she will uh, bring up a list and then we will go back through those, uh, those, those comments and show you those pieces. So there's two options on this uh, ornament. These are done by Bruce Cobb. I should be having Jason tell us who does them, and we're not saying prices, but you can click those links, remember. Um, so we have a blue version and a red version. Um, these are blown glass. They're a really sizable ornament. I'll show you. Well, you can kind of see in comparison to my hand, it's a nice sized ornament. Um, these are really beautiful placed on an ornament stand um, and kind of set around the house too. Or you can set them in a bowl and they're really pretty that way. Mm -hmm. Yep, and the red. Okay, yeah, now get, we have another fused glass ornament artist um, also called um, kiln formed glass. And I, I'm going to show you this cute little cat. Um, Charlotte Barons did this cat and if you have collected her work, You'll be excited to know we have a bunch of new designs from Charlotte tonight. Um, this, she has tons of, well, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you think tons is, but she has a lot of different varieties of cats. So if you go onto our website, click in, because if, it, if you think, oh, that doesn't look like my cat, go in there. She probably has one that looks like your cat. So um, he, this one's really cute. Does it look like my cat? Which one do you have? No, it's not a black cat. Well, let me see. Turn around. No, come here. So, people, so everybody else could see. Oh! It look like my cat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, I see. <laughs> okay, so speaking of uh, one of her new designs, I had to pick this one out since we're in Nebraska here. Um, this is one of Char's new um, farm animal ornaments. She does uh, sheep, pigs, goats, um, bunnies, and we've got a couple other ones that are coming up. But this is her uh, cow, so it's really cute. This is another one of Char's. Uh, she, she, I hope it shows on that white board, but it, it, is, um, it is a unicorn. She also does a bunch of different breeds of horses, but I had to pick out the unicorn because um, unicorns are kind of a big thing right now. And, um, I really would like to have a pet unicorn someday, so, um, but the ornament would make me happy too. <laughs> we have a shout out, somebody complimenting my sister's leggings. 
Oh the, my goodness. <laughs> the Christmas leggings. Courtney has a she has I'm a legging kidding. problem. She probably has over a hundred leggings. Oh, not that many. That's, no, that's the no, only ones that, that she's many. showing you. Okay, over fifty. Okay. <laughs> she said, "Okay, maybe over 50. She's she's got a legging collection. She's known for them. Okay, so this is another Charlotte Barron. This is a version of this is her angel. It's really beautiful. She uses little bits of irid glass, which I can, I don't know if you can see. She has multiple colors um, available on our website. So um, this one's really pretty. All right, oh, this one, we're, my we're cranking through Charlotte Barron's. I didn't realize how many of hers I pulled out, but she has so many new designs this year, it was really hard to pick. This is her chicken for her farm animals. Isn't that super cute? I love the chicken. Uh, hey, Chicky Poo. Yeah, Chick Poo, that's the problem with chickens. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, that'll help my garden. All right, so I know there's a, a big thing with beekeepers now and honey and um, like the health of, of the, the bee pollen and all that stuff and like, I don't know, pollinators, the whole bee frenzy. So um, she has several colors of her new bee. I think it's cool how she made the background like the honeycomb thing. So make sure you look because there's several colorways of that it's for you beekeepers out there. And this one I grabbed because it's a classic for Charlotte. Yes, it is. I love um, those. We have multiple um, colors, and they're really cool to put them together. Um, if you've come to Blue Pomegranate, every year I hang a ton of these in our front windows with icicle lights, and they're just gorgeous. Um, she, she's really well known for these ornaments. Wow, that looks fantastic on the camera there. Yeah, they're just beautiful. Yeah, they're awesome. How much are those, Jason? They are $26. That's, That's this a is a, This That's is a, a really large ornament yeah. for, a, for a fused glass ornament for that price. That's, that's a great price. And this one's another new one for us. Uh, this is also Charlotte Barron's um, snowman. And we have several snowmen with um, different color hats. So I'm going to clip along a little faster here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this one I'm going to put the board down for a second just so I can show you. I left this in the box because I think it's really cool. Um, they're, the boxes that are included with this, they actually have a little pewter piece on the front, and every piece is different. Um, but it makes just such a nice little gift. This was one of our best-selling ornaments, um, but that they're cast pewter, um, and they are Bonnie Bonds designs. And these are really affordable. How much is this one, Jason? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars, yeah. yeah. Perfect stocking stuffer. Okay, so let's uh put it under the tree. Yep. And here's another one like it, uh, with another box, and I'm gonna show you just how the top this one has a star on the top. And this one's a really cute little mouse. I used this for our email for the um for the ornament party. So if you saw that, you can this gives you an idea of size. So yeah. And it, it look like I didn't even notice this until just now. It says before Christmas on the back. So twas the night before Christmas on the back. Fun. That was a surprise. I didn't even know that. <laughs> okay, next. This is another one from Bonnie Bond. This is a little bit larger sized one. She did a whole she does a series of different ornaments and then she donates a portion of the sales. Is that amazing? Um and this one is for um, for animals welfare. So she donates a portion for all of these animal welfare um, uh, ornaments. And they're actually the amazing thing is they're they're also cast on the back. So this is a double sided. This is a really nice sizable piece for for a pewter ornament. This is a quality piece. How much is this one, Jace? Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. So th these are really fun. And these come on a card that talks about the fact that it's the animal. Um, well, welfare, mm -hmm. and then we also have some that she does for um, like save the forest, and so we have some birds and things like that. So those are really cool. Okay, here's a very special one. I had to, I had to showcase the moose. It's all in the family. <laughs> so this one is done by Sally Scott. She puts so much love and time into her ornaments. It blows me away. I forgot. I'm not using my card. I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> so this one, um, 
she hand cuts, hand carves, hand stamps, hand glazes these pieces. And it's two firing. So these are incredibly labor intensive, but it's a labor of love. And um, speaking of love, this person happens to be somebody I do love. It, my sister, she makes these. So I'm going to show you a couple more pieces by her. This one is brand new this year for oh, her. Oh, those are gorgeous. These are really pretty. She, we have several designs of the, the angel, and it's multi-layers, which I think is really, really cool. And she's just so, so particular. I'm going to show you even on the back how clean it is, and then she stamps her initials in there. And, um, yeah, just her colorways are really fun, too. So that's her new angel. And how much is that one? 28. That one's 28? It is 28. And one more from Sally, right? Um, and this is her little llama. She's got fa la 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 llama stamped on it. I think that's really cute. She has kind of this little llama thing going between her and her daughter. So uh, that's kind of a sentimental thing to her. I need, I need to learn to not turn my back on you people. <laughs> This is turning out a little different flow than we thought. All right, Jason, so who did this one? The Penguin by Christy. Uh, yeah, Penguin Christy Thorndike Kent. Okay, and how much is he? $26. Okay, this is another Fuse Glass artist. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Fuse Glass. So if you didn't watch our video on Tuesday, you can actually go back and watch that and see this in depth of kind of how this process is done. But all of these pieces are cut out of sheet glass and then stacked together and then fired in a kiln. So that cute little penguin, he's so cute. All right. And then right. this is another one from Christy. I had to pull this one out because this reminds me and don't of trip over the cat. A, little, <laughs> a little wiener dog that's like begging at the kitchen table. I mean, it's so cute. And if you know me, I'm, I love wiener dogs. So this is a little guy. Her, her ornaments tend to be a little bit smaller in size. How much is that little dog, Jace? Uh, he's 26 as well. Yeah, he's so cute. He's super detailed. Look at the eyeballs. I'm going to have you move back just a little bit, hon. Okay. There Thank you, you. And we got one more from Christy. Christy is um, really known for using what's called stringers. They're like a spaghetti noodle of glass. And then she breaks them up and then puts them on there to look like that confetti. But what blows my mind is all of these little stripes, that little rainbow mitten. She has laid those in there as little pieces to make that rainbow stripe. So those are that's really sweet. How much is that one, Jason? Uh, 25. 25. Right behind it. Okay, these are so cute. Oh, we're getting into the Jurassic area now. All right, Jason, I need to keep including you. Who did this one? That is, oops, hold on. Let me pop it up online here for everybody. See, so that's Beth Dakara, and it's $22. And I love the construction of these. I was really big into clay in school and I uh, love how it's like a little tent thing and how, how it's 3D. It's not just a flat piece. They're just a blast. <laughs> they're gla so and the glazes too. I love these glazes. They're a matte glaze. So they're not super shiny in that. They're a little different look than a lot of ceramic. Love All right, them. let's look at another one of Beth's. Ah. Oh, your sister just joined late, by the way. You can uh, chastise her, or her online if you want. So I guess Sally just signed <laughs> on. You already missed your highlight. <laughs> so I am now talking about Beth Takara. This is one of her little um, chipmunks, and it has the same one-piece design where she uh, cuts it out and then bends it into shape. Those are really cool. And I had to throw this one in <laughs> of Beth Takara, and when I show it, any of you fans out there or non-fans, you'll know why I picked it out. Yes, segment. It's of... the tiger. I know this one's gonna sell to you, tiger fans. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Drew's watching. He needs this ornament. All right. One thing I wish I was doing, and I just now thought of it, is I'm not sharing where these artists are from. So this one is a local artist. She's from Lincoln, Nebraska. This is by Mary Kolar, and um, she's a friend of mine. 
which uh, we love to get together and brainstorm. She's oh my gosh. super creative, Videos really together. fun to be around, and she has a fantastic workshop behind her oh, house. Her, her workshop is, is like, yeah, it's incredible. It's, there, I there's can't robots, even explain. and there's like everything in every corner. It's so fun. So she paints both sides. She uses found objects, little vintage buttons, cute little findings, nails. This is just a little painted piece of wire. So we have several of her little birds that... Um, come in two colorways and here's the other one and if you came to the garden party she's the one that does the odd bird concrete birds let's put this sideways so you can see that she does the little concrete or the big concrete birds that go outside and she did um we have a couple pieces several pieces on our website of hers okay now i have a very special collection if you watched on tuesday you got to see these in the making so these are my new ornaments out of glass um, that the metal pedal team made together. So, well, actually Jennifer and I. So, um, this is my new little Yeti. I think he's just the cutest he thing is ever. Adorable. Like, his little, his little teeth, like you can't zoom in and they get the little teeth on it. Can you see? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. TVs. All right. And that's Fuse Glass as well. As you know, I've got a glass studio in our workshop that I put on with our, um, that I put in for putting glass on my metal pieces and I'm like well ugh, I can make glass ornaments so here's my new little oh my gosh this one I just don't know I just <laughs> hey hon you you have to let other people have them too you can't he's, enjoy them I don't, all, I don't... all the time <laughs> this is my little reindeer and he's got the little tiny holly berries and a big nose and a little tiny and a giant nose i have a thing for big noses if you didn't notice hey i love it it's the swiss in me it's How the, much is the reindeer the the rain actually all the glass ornaments of saunders this year are 38 i have yeah. their new designs so my designs are super intricate uh jennifer like sometimes pulls her hair out because i'm like <laughs> oh this is what i want to do i want these tiny little eyes and this tiny little nose and little pieces for his cheeks to make it look like a little cat face and anyway we pulled it off. <laughs> so that's my little um, flying cat. And I'm going to talk about this particular ornament when we do our pet show. So we're going to have a pet show in a, one, for one of our live events. So there's that one. And we got two more of the my new glass designs. I just had to showcase several of them. And you all know me. I'm a coffee lover. So I had to do a, a dedicated... Here, let's pull that up a little bit. Little coffee cup to go coffee cup with the coffee bean on it. Back with, up a little bit, hon. With the there little um, aroma coming out of the cup in the shape of a heart. Yes, it smell the love. All right. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute, it hurts me. Here's my little mouse teacup. Oh, my gosh. My aunt would love this. Any tea drinkers out there? Oh, my gosh. That is an Aunt Phyllis ornament. This is an sure. Aunt Phyllis ornament oh right here. She's, she's as cute Definitely. as that little ornament. Okay. So that's the, the teeny little mouse coming out of the teacup with a little teal heart. Aw. And he's got a little fuzzy hat. All right. Now we're moving on to... We're still on my, me, but now we're going to move into my metal ornaments. So this is my new design for this year. And I'm just going to hold it because I don't, can't get it on there. Which one is it? This is the Joy Angel. Okay, thank you. And as you can see, this is the combination of the aluminum and glass. And the cool thing about aluminum is it's super lightweight. So for a metal ornament, um, it's not going to weigh down your tree. So this one's really cute. It's got the little dimensional wings and... Uh, uh-oh, looks like the wings didn't get bent on this one. We'll fix that. You'll see that in the photos that the, the wings are actually have some dimension to them. So, Next one. This is my other new metal one for the year. And uh, some of you saw this on the tree the other day and already ordered it. So this one I call Winter Fun. Um, that's Jason in the middle on the snowboard. And uh, I would like to say that's me at the top of the mountain on the skis, but if it was... Um, yeah, that Notice would be good. We're both still standing upright. That's that's a really yeah. Good I would not. That would be us. me tumbling down the mountain. So yeah. that one's She'll a double sided ornament. So it has comes. two layers. And then I pick. I picked a couple of my best sellers. Uh, this is my Jolly Santa, and he's got the little uh, dimensional um, 
mustache. So that was one that I just wanted to showcase. And it also shows the painted metal. So you can see Troy's grinding marks and brushing magic underneath that paint. So it's pretty cool. And one more bestseller. Of course, Santa is always a great seller. So this is a little window scene that shows Santa flying um, past the window in a little uh, sparkly um, snowflake. And Joni asked the other day if the, the glitter comes off. Not really. You might wind up with a sparkle on your nose. It's okay. It's just it's the, so season. It's the season. It's the season to sparkle. Oh, I thought that was the last one. I pulled this one out because we are in Nebraska. So I had to show you my Nebraska ornament. That's another one of our best sellers, obviously, for our local people. So that's enough of Sondra Gerber. <laughs> oh, she's, yeah. got a, she's got a lot of ornaments, trust she me. She does. <laughs> oh, almost, almost as much as, as many ornaments as this artist. Okay, I'm Goodness. really excited about this one. I want to talk about this. Okay, so there's a story behind this. Um, back in the day, my sister and I started making jewelry out of uh, recycled gift cards. Yes, Sally, the one that's, that uh, does the clay. And uh, my dad picked up on doing it, and my mom was doing it too. And then eventually we started making ornaments. And now my, my dad and mom mostly make these. So these are actually made out of recycled gift cards. And when I flip it over on the back, you can see the backs to kind of help you understand a little bit more. So then the holes are drilled, and then they're put together with jump rings. So my dad goes through and, and meticulously picks out all these different gift cards to make a match. But he, he buys the, or he doesn't buy the gift cards. He gets the gift cards, um, either they're used or a lot of the stores throw away all of the unused gift cards that are on the display stand. They throw them away at the end of the season. And that plastic is really hard to recycle, which is nasty. So like, we need to start doing stuff with this plastic. So this is what we came up with. And I'm just gonna quick show you uh, several more designs. So that one was the stocking. And here's a Christmas tree. And I'm gonna tell you, there's a ton of them on our website. Every single one is different, of course, because the, the cards are all different. So that's the Christmas tree. And this one's like a little house. Uh, Let's see, this one's made out of some Starbucks cards, but he also does some that look more like a store or a little coffee house. He uses all the different store cards and kind of uses that for inspiration. Here's another example of another style of the holly leaves with the jingle bells on it. Super cute, see, check out the back. He even made this one dimensional by bending it. So these are really cool. There's more designs on our website. Okay, can we hold up for, hold up for a second? Okay. We're Jason's gonna breathe. Gotta, we're back so, back away from the camera real quick. We're gonna breathe it because I want to take a break. Why don't we <laughs> just remind everybody that all of these ornaments are on bluepalm.com. So if we are going way too fast. Right. So if we're going <laughs> too I fast. Am I going too fast? Now, uh -huh. now af after uh, after the live is the live after that live red button goes off, you can scroll back through and hit all of these links we're putting up. But also too, I want to just stop and say share with your friends right now like we have yeah. so many people on it's so awesome and we want to make sure that every i might be too tall for this like hopefully you're seeing <laughs> you're me good, you're good. but we want to make sure everybody can see the new ornament stuff we support all these artists and want to make sure that they're getting their work out there this is why we do it and mm -hmm. we want to make sure that yeah sure please comment we love it again we're, we're cataloging through these comments downstairs and after a little bit we'll go back and answer questions for you guys but just want to Let's take a breath. Yeah, take a breath. Let's hit that sh share button because it's live. I <laughs> well, think I'm pointing other, at the right one. The other cool thing too is once we're done showing everything, we're gonna show the tree. Yeah. yeah. Um, and because there's hundreds of ornaments available, so we're yeah. gonna show the tree, and then you can see them up close and personal. And if you have questions, then we'll answer everything then. And there yep. is something sneaky on the tree around the bottom that you oh, have to look for. Oh, don't tell them. They have to just discover it. You have to discover it. It's really, <laughs> it's really funny. Okay. Intermission break over. All right. Hey, we should have, we should explain. This is, we have cookies at all of our ornament parties, but we can't feed them through like that. You know, I mean, I suppose if you really want one of these, we can mail one to you in you know, about a week or so, but. Um, We're going to include one in every order. Yeah. <laughs> Not so, really. I'm so joking. We, we, we wanted to set up. Most people are used to getting a few cookies, wandering around getting that. But the only problem is there's caramel corn that my wife put on my table. 
It is a staged caramel corn that's a year old. I, I found it in the back of the pantry. It was rock hard, so I hit it against the counter and then put it in the bowl. It told and then me a after later, I popped a couple like pieces. It projected out of his mouth as fast yeah. as it went in. <laughs> and I was picking caramel off my molars for 20 minutes. So That's what he gets for eating the props. However, he could have eaten the cookies. I can't eat the cookies. Uh oh. All right, so let's get back with it. As you can tell, I'm excited. We're just rolling through this. So um, these are really, really cool. These are um, blown glass. And speaking of, of snowboarding, so we've got uh, th one? these. These are. Is he grabbing his toe? This is the pink one. She's doing the toe grab. Right. I mean, I guess. Why should I assume if it's pink, it's a girl? It may not be a girl. Pink is cool. Girls are really awesome at snowboarding. I well, I know, but we, can, we don't have to wear pink. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, these are just beautifully done. And this one actually can stand on, on the table. Um, the other style, which is, tell me what it is, Jace. The red one. That, the red one's freestyle. He's freestyle? Yeah. Okay, he's a freestyle. And they just do the little accents of color, which just are really cool. So you can see that little snowboarding dude oh chick we're gonna say it's a girl all right so we're gonna show you a few more glass ones these are really beautiful and fun and whimsical these are done by Robert Call, and they are also uh, an example of blown glass you can um, put a ribbon on this to hang it that way but back in the day when I would put candy canes on the tree we just hooked them right over the tree that's how they're made right so I just hook these over the tree when I put them on, but you could put a ribbon around the top and they'll hang that way too. But these are super fun, like, oh my gosh, just laying them on a table for um, a holiday decoration for, for kind of laying it around your holiday table or um, you can hang them like, I don't know, you can hang them anywhere. They're just really cute. So there's this red and white version and then there is this green and red, which I think is really cool. I know candy canes, well, actually, some of those fruit flavored and different candy canes out there now are different colors, but I, I think it's kind of fun and whimsical to have a non-traditional one as well. So we're moving on to more fused glass because glass is just fantastic as ornaments. They sparkle. So if you, this is kind of an, um, a really unique ornament in the sense that this is done by Ann Nye. And um, this is a style of ornament that she um, hasn't really done. So I think it's really cool. It's kind of whimsy and funky, but she's got pieces of what's called dichroic glass in there, which is um, most people shorten it and call it dichro, but it is that metallic looking glass and it's, it's really pretty cool. There's another one by Ann. And I brought this one because it shows the other side of what Anne's um, ornaments can look like. They're really whimsical and fun. So this is her crazy Santa, and she has a Mrs. Claus that matches. So you can find more of her designs on our website. <laughs> These are new for this year. And these are kind of funny because it's a collaboration between um, Primitives by Kathy and my dad. He, he was like, he went in and he adorned these a little bit more just because that's who he is. Hey, which one do you have? I have the Feliz Navi Dog. Okay, thank you. You were so quick. I didn't see it. Ah, and so it's got the little pom-pom nose, a little bow on its collar, and a little glitter accent. And then Feliz Navi Dog. So these are cut wood. And of course we had the dogs, so now we have to have our meowy Christmas. Yep, same scenario, little pom-pom, glitter accents. He's cute. All right, moving on. These ornaments are clay, but they look like metal because they are, um, I wonder if that one hang on there. Yeah, it does. It is um, textured clay with a special kind of glaze that reacts with the firing. So then they, they put it in a pit and they do, they smolder like combustible things and that smoke causes a reaction with the glaze, which is called Raku firing. So it makes this just beautiful coloring. So this is just a really elegant 
stunning ornament that I think it'd be cool to put out all year, honestly. So if I explained Raku firing incorrectly, forgive me, I've never personally done it before. Um, I was supposed to in high school and I was sick the day they did it and I'm really bummed. So any of you clay artists out there that does raccoon firing, I would like to observe that sometime. So here's another example of the raccoon clay ornament. And this one's got kind of these swirly impressions on it. And you can see how they all look different. You can see the, the glaze reactive of that really cool kind of irid look on there. Two. Okay, we're coming up on our last two, and these, once again, like I said, I, I kind of do have a creative family. These were a special request. I asked my dad, would you make these, and he made, oh boy, did he deliver. So he made these adorable macrame tiny plant holders. And so this one has kind of more what looks like an evergreen in it, and it's the classic white string that they use in macrame. But what's really fun is these are darling on the Christmas tree, by the way, and they're really lightweight. But what I wanted it for is I hung it from my rear view mirror. So if you purchase one of these, um, you can put in the notes if you would like. Um, there's a hook that comes with it that you can put on your rear view mirror in your car. Actually, we have it on the website. You can select whether you want it hanging like mirror hanging or suction cup for a window. And then you can pick the color of the macrame and then you can pick the style of succulent. So we have options on all those. So this so. one shows the succulent. So you can choose whether you want the, the evergreen looking one or if you want the succulents. Of course, succulents are really in style right now. And you can also select what color of string you want. And there's like six options. So there's a, and then there's also, yeah, the suction cup. If you want to hang it in a window inside your house, you can do that too. So these are super versatile. Hang it on your tree and then you can hang it in a window or in your car for the rest of the year. So those are super fun. And that is actually all of the ones that I pulled out to showcase. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Like, I love seeing all these ornaments. And if you're wondering about tabletop decor, like holiday tabletop decor, we do have a lot of that on our website. So when you go in and click into our website, on the front page, there is a button that says ornament party. If you click that button, it will go directly to a page that shows all the ornaments that are available and you can just scroll through. If, um, if you wanna see the holiday decor, there is a, a button that you can just click that, click that says holiday. And then when you go in, you can choose whether you wanna see ornaments or you wanna see holiday decor or holiday gifts. And those are all Christmas themed specifically, but also under holiday, I wanna give a shout out to this really quick. I know this is all Christmas themed tonight, but there are other holidays in December. And so we do have um, a Judaica button when you click into holiday. And we do have some really beautiful menorahs. I was going to pull one out and I didn't get that accomplished. So we will definitely show a menorah um, in one of our later live broadcasts. But so f as far as home decor, you'll get to see that when we do our holiday home uh, tour. That's coming up just after Thanksgiving. You get to actually do a tour through our house. and We're going to have it decked out with the artwork and the holiday decor. So, so we're going to back you up so because yep. people want to see the tree. People want to see the tree. We're going to do a little a little technical change here so we can move this camera. All right. So many ornaments. So now is the time that you get to ask about specific ones. We're going to go ahead and refer to the questions that you've been asking throughout the, the uh, event. And we're going to be able to answer anything that you want to know. So Courtney is going to pan around the tree and just kind of show some of the ornaments. Some of these are the ones that we already showcased, are, but you can see... Are you um, going to do the... Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just for our event last time. Awesome. This time it has to be a Christmas song, like Jingle Bells or something. Would you like me to sing? I don't know, would we get blocked by Facebook if we started singing a song that might be licensed? No, I thought you were going to say, please, please don't sing. No, I like, I <laughs> so like when you Pam's sing. Pam's asking who made the reindeer next to the tree. You know, we didn't introduce... Oh, yeah, let's... Oh, let's I totally forgot. Okay, if you watched on Tuesday, <laughs> if you watched on Tuesday, I kept talking about Marty the Moose, and then Troy kept reminding me he didn't name it Marty, he named it Randy. Randy. So, 
Then I said, Marty, I remembered, is actually our moose that he's our mascot that we always had at the gallery. So we always have one of these in stock. So if you want Marty, he is available for sale. I don't know if Jason can throw a link up. I sure could. Okay, Jason's gonna throw a link up of Marty. But he's really cool. He's made from a bunch of different kinds of like found parts and- uh, He's a big boy. He is made by Richard Kolb. So his head does come off and you can rotate it and position it the way you want. He's so cute. Yeah, so he can go outside. We did clear coat him, um, but if you want him to patina to a rust, he's made out of steel, so he eventually will do that once the clear coat wears off, or you could always re-clear coat it um, every year. So, but he's really cute. What an awesome holiday decoration to put him out front um, during the holiday. I have a, a moose that I like drape lights on him or put, we've decorated Marty a lot. We've put little stocking hats on him. We've put Easter eggs hanging on his antlers. So he's really cute. So do we have any other questions? Um, we will have some. I'm gonna just go ahead and show the tree. Okay. And then uh, if people have questions, just post it and we will answer. So I'm gonna steal the camera because- Are you? Okay. Because I wanna show something really funny. This is the thing we're saying that we're not saying about. That's really funny. When you have a rotating tree, you get to do fun things like this. So if anybody knows what this is, I don't know if I'm supposed to promote that here, but we put it on the tree that way because we feel that this is appropriate for 2020. <laughs> yes. Dragging us into the holidays. We're just kind of being drugged through the rest of the year. All right. <laughs> so rates, so I'm going to go and see okay so we've got metal we do not have advent wreaths that's a very good question that's something that i do listen to that your questions and your input and it's something that i will look for for next year however we do have regular wreaths um, i do a two sizes of wreaths i do a big um, santa sleigh wreath that can be hung on the front door or you can hang it on a wall do you have one of Sandra's cardinal ornaments? Yes, the glass cardinal ornament. Um, he did not get put on the tree, but we will have Troy grab one so you can see that. Did you hear me? Nope. <laughs> Down there in that tub is one of the car glass cardinal ornaments. Do you have owls? We do have an owl. Heidi Rhea does an owl. Um, while you guys keep looking, I will see if I can find an owl. Hmm. Heidi Rhea does the fused glass and I will find that while Jason shows the cardinal ornament. Here Jason, okay. you can show them the cardinal ornament. Or should, should we in front of the light here so it's a little easier. And does Char do corgis? Char does do corgis. I'm not sure if we have a corgi on our website. Um, there, well, I'll say this. There may be Char. Oh, Char is actually on, and oh. she says, yes, I do corgis. <laughs> so, so, Char, Char. so Char could answer, does a corgi have a name like Billy or Frank or whatever? Because uh, we have them on our website cataloged as their names. So we will see. Um, Jason, so can, also, I, can't, I can't locate the owls. Can you just post a link to um, directly to Heidi Rhea's owl ornaments? You bet. Okay. We do have a, a question that came in from a Janelle that just says metal ornaments. We have several metal ornaments. Uh, mostly the metal ornaments are done by me. So the aluminum ornaments on the tree, uh, I do them out of aluminum because they're lightweight. So actually I'm just going to, uh, pull one off so you can see. Here's my penguin design. And the penguin comes in both blue or a red scarf. So I'm gonna have Courtney just pan around the tree and find all the metal ones to kind of showcase. I don't have all of mine on the tree, but uh, if you go into our website, right on the front page, there's a button that says um, holiday ornaments. Actually, I'm gonna have you click on, there's a 
a button on the very front page that says Sandra Gerber. And if you click that, then it, it takes you into my entire, there, there will be a button for holiday. Mm -hmm. And there's so, the moose that we showcased on Tuesday, the metal moose. Yep. That's, that's, that's Randy. Randy. Yeah, that's Randy. Randy. <laughs> and we've got, um, this one is a one that has um, carolers with the little street lamp. Um, it makes me think of the Dickinson uh, Christmas Carol. So I created that one for that. This is the new Joy Angel that we just showcased for um, my 2020 ornament. And also the Winter Fun, which is the 2020 ornament. All right, we just had a question. Mm -hmm. um, does anybody make a donkey? A donkey? Uh, I, Charlotte, Char, do you do a, a donkey? <laughs> <laughs> and then how much is the metal tree with the blue background? I think we just showed that right 36. here. 36. This one right here is 36. 36. Okay. Do you want to pop a link up and for that? And then somebody wants to see Ann Nye's Christmas tree, which I put. There's a long green one. Yeah. It'll come around the mountain. Once it comes, <laughs> comes around, we'll show it to you. Or did I put it up here? I'm a looking. And I'm posting a couple of links for um, all of the ornaments on bluepalm.com. I'll go to the other well side. As well mm -hmm. as the holiday just for Sandra, which will have ornaments as well as some of our holiday tabletop uh, things as I well. I see it. There's a red one. That's not the same one. Here is a and I Christmas ornament. I'm going to get my paddle so you can see it better. This tree is full, I will say. Oh, boy. I'm glad we have a sturdy home. <laughs> this is the biggest tree, the fullest tree. I don't have my here. light right now, but this is... Uh, this is one of the Ann Nye uh, trees. This is, she calls this her dancing tree. Um, Jason, can you put a link of that up? Here, I'm I've got sure a... I'm I have those. Um, and Char says the corgi is under Aaron, so yes. All right, I will look for I that. will look for the other tree that we were showcasing earlier of Ann Nye. I, I don't have this red dancing tree of Ann Nye. Okay, so like I said, I we're gonna keep to, posting yeah. ornaments this week. So I will try to find the one that we showcased earlier. And if that one is and not... Does Sandra make a Blue Jay ornament? Oh my goodness, I should make a Blue Jay. What you is wrong? Know. Oh, I do know. do a Blue Jay. Yes. What am I thinking? The glass. I was thinking metal. Is it in, is it in your box there? That he brought do up? I, did he bring the box up? I thought he already did just bring your cardinal up. I don't know if he brought the whole box up. I shall go grab it. We can Drive showcase in. the rest of those. You're going to get it? Let's see. Patty just got here. Patty's watching. Welcome, Patty. And again, thanks to everybody who's here. So here's another uh, one of Char's ornaments. This one's a Chihuahua. I believe that's a Chihuahua. A Chihuahua? Chihuahua. <laughs> So she does do a whole bunch and of different she dog breeds. Is your moose. It has yellow on it. Oh yeah. Here it is. It's Who cute. saw that? <laughs> she wins. That's amazing. <laughs> you saw Christy. that. Christy just saw that. Okay, where's my Good uh job, Christy? Paddle. Which paddle? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's by the TV over there. <laughs> and I did bring your blue jay. Okay. So let's see the Ann Nye's fruit. Here's the Ann Nye tree. The light over here isn't as good, but okay. actually, there we go. There's that one. And that one is $28. So if that one, if you're, that one may not be listed yet. We have a couple of oddball ornaments. That one is listed. It is listed? Well, yeah, this one's listed? Red one that wasn't. Okay, great. And then you found a... Blue Jay. Blue Jay. I did. Okay. There you go, my dear. Okay. We need a little more light, but this is the Blue Jay. He has, this light is not the greatest, but there's the Blue Jay. Actually pretty good. It works. Yep. Pretty. That's one of your new ones from this Yes, year, right? that's a new one. I did, actually, I will admit, I think we made two Blue Jays and two Cardinals and two of my Santas last year. 
And I could show a couple of those. This Jason loves this I, one. So I had gonna, to bring this one. This is my little penguin. How fun. All right, anybody else have any questions? Um, somebody's asking about a Boston Terrier. Which oh, she definitely does do. Char does do a Boston Terrier. Yep. Uh, I believe I know we have one. I saw it today. So yep. Jason's going to post I'll a link to that one. There. And Susan is asking, how do I order that? So just go to the website bluepalm.com. Uh, your would that be the, the blue jay she's asking about, or what? What did she? Uh, which Su ornament? Susan Branquist. It just says, how do I order that? Ask her which one she wants, and then you can post the link. Okay, uh, Susan, so which order or which ornament are you asking about that you want to purchase? And then we will post a link so you can buy it. I feel like I'm blocking the light. There we go. Oops, sorry, Marty. Uh, she says the Blue Jay. Okay, we'll post that link. So, Susan, I will put up a Blue Jay link of Sandra's. All right, it's time to about to wrap it up. If anybody else has any questions. All right, we're getting ready to wrap it up with our fantastic ornament party. Remember, we're going to continue to post new designs. Um, we have artists still bringing us ornaments, so we're going to continue to post that. And we will also do some Facebook postings so you can see when we have loaded some new things. We'll try to, and we're going to do some special features as far as ornaments go as well. So um, as Just, we wrap up our ornament party. Say, grab some coffee, go into the holiday ornament section. There's lots and lots up yes. there. Yes. So hit the button on the main things. page, right? Mm -hmm. Hit the button on the main page, just right at the top banner. It says, right at the very top, it says ornament, ornament party. party. Click here. And you just click on that. It's going to take you into a scroll feed of all of the ornaments. And remember, when you click into each style of ornament, there are color options as well. Mm -hmm. So depends on which artist, what you're looking for, um, and how we've listed it. But it, there, it's, it goes in deeper, so continue to click through. What's our next event? I was just getting there, Courtney. She asked what our next event is. Our next event is Monday night at 6 o'clock. We are here for coffee and appetizers. And I'm inviting our, our crew in to be able to have coffee time at 6 o'clock. And what we are featuring is all things kitchen. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, mine's bigger, sorry. It's going to spoil our appetite, but oh. it's, it's worth it. But all the coffee. Oh, I better not eat it. I'm still talking. Now oh. you're going to talk with your mouth full, but that's Maybe that okay. was the point. So yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Coffee and appetizers. <laughs> so we're going to do coffee and appetizers, and we're going to showcase all things kitchen. We have some new, really amazing cutting boards, Gorgeous towels, stuff. coffee mugs, just really fun things for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So uh, you'll also get a CS in the kitchen uh, making some things. So that'll be a really fun event on Monday night. Cooking with Jason. Cooking with Jason. We got to figure and that Sandra. out. <laughs> yeah, he's a great cook, actually. Thank you. So then um, Thursday night is Thanksgiving, so we are going to skip that event, and we are going to roll right into Small Business Saturday and Cyber Monday. So next event next week, watch for our emails. Mm -hmm. um, remember, you can always watch back through this whole video or fast forward to find uh, your favorite ornament, and make sure you click through and uh, find it on the website, and have and, a great night. And last thing, too. Oh. Um, we got inundated with orders today. Awesome. We love you guys. And because of this ornament show, we'll probably get hit again. So just be patient with order, ordering and commenting back and stuff. We will get with you. We are working like busy little elves. Yep, we are working like busy little elves. So thanks for joining us for the ornament party. And just let us know if you have any questions. And you can always call us at 502-9901, area code 402. 402-502-9901. <laughs> so have a great night. All right. Thank you.